Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this one, I had a funny idea to try to build a ROP top side level in 2.2 hours. Cause you know, 2.2 just came out and it'd be fun to do a ROP top 2.2 style for it. Which I realized like afterwards that I kind of got the idea from Woolsey, like without even remembering that he did this. But he did a video where he built a level in 2.2 hours to celebrate the release of the 2.2 sneak peek, which was years ago at this point, which is crazy to think about. But yeah, I guess I accidentally plagiarized Wolsey. I'm sorry, credit to him. I thought it'd be boring to do it by myself. So I invited Audiovisual to collaborate with me on it. So yeah, we built a Rob Top style level in 2.2 hours. It turned out a lot better than we were expecting it to, but it's still by no means a great level. But yeah, it was a fun process at least. So hope you enjoy. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. It would help a lot. Thank you. I'm actually so hyped. I've never done a Rob Top style and I'm I'm like looking forward to it. Me too. All right, three, two, one, go. Good luck. Oh, good luck. So I kind of have ideas for this part. Like I'm thinking of the part in Polar Geist, the slow sh shit part with the black background and just the simple blocks. I kind of want to do something like that, low-key. But I don't know how to make this, like, modern Rob Top style. Because I could just make it Polar Geist, but that wouldn't look too good. What's, like, a Rob Top thing to do here? I guess, like, pillars. Like, he used those a lot in Dash. There's also a lot of, like, ease kind of structures that just move up and down in Dash. We're aiming for this to be a 7-star, so I should definitely keep that in mind so I don't accidentally make a easy demon. I can put an arrow in there, and then I can also do kind of, like, I guess I just keep ground spikes. I don't want to make this too complicated, I guess. It's going to be, like, a simpler part as well as like these kind of structures i can put like just bigger ones put one of these again maybe just <laughs> look it. i shouldn't be too focused on how i structure this but i want to make sure it's structured okay these can just occasionally have some spikes on them and then i can kind of lay out like these neat structures that dash has yeah dash has these neat like floating structures like this that i kind of want to recreate maybe i can just connect these with these for now yeah that works that's a nice sync. I really don't know what to do for this part, actually. It's been 11 minutes. That's like a sixth of my time spent just trying to figure out this layout. Wait, this could go hard, actually. Maybe add some spikes. I kind of want to make this next part swing, because I've never tried making swing gameplay. I don't know how well that will go, though. And then we can make mini swing, maybe. Maybe I should unmute and interrupt audio visual. Hey, it's been 15 minutes. Oh man, I... I'm not feeling too confident. I've made like a layout for one part and that's it. I was kind of stressed about it at first, but I'm just kind of going kind of yeah, in the zone right now. That's good. I'm hoping to get into the zone eventually. <laughs> good luck. Even this part can have like the last part of dash kind of vibes. Maybe it can be like, oh, you're going to land on the spikes. Oh no. But it just kind of ends there. Yeah, just like... <laughs> That's pretty okay. I can worry about the ball part later. There's too many triggers. I don't know what any of these do. Change background. Okay, yeah, these are the ones I want. I'll just keep on the defaults for now, because I think those go kind of hard. For here, I kind of want to just go, like, really dark. Like, maybe very deep purple. Now start decorating this part, because this is what I had ideas for. So, let's start with the pillars. They're actually just pixel objects. Low-key, I don't know where these are. Okay, these bricks could be good. Let's make something with these bricks first while I... I can copy color background. Nice. Let's make this a bit brighter. The middle thing can be like black, maybe just solid black. Maybe I can be quirky and I can throw thicker outlines on the sides. I gotta get glow. Maybe I can just throw it over here without blending. I think I need blending. Who am I talking to? Chat, do you think I need blending? Uh, I don't like how that looks. He needs that blending. Maybe in here I can put pulsing object. That's kind of my thing. Oh, what color should that be though? Yeah, that works. And that's kind of a design. What would Rob Top do though? What else would he add? Maybe chains connecting it. I can focus on that afterwards. And I connect these with the background color things. Yo, it has been one whole half of an hour. Oh goodness. I've done like one design. Yeah, I managed to finish a whole design. So I'm actually kind of feeling good right now. I feel, I mean, it's still one part and I have like, oh my gosh, I have so much left, but it's fine. <laughs> I'm going to be in my hustle mode for real. Oh, you got those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just kind of looking for this one object right now, and I cannot find it. Oh, that sucks. I have a very specific idea, but I cannot find this object. Shoot. I believe in you. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Bye. I'm going back. Okay. Good luck. Good luck. Okay, as I said that to him, I found it. So scale this up. Three. Yeah, lucky okay, three. That kind of works. That's not what I'm really thinking of, but I guess that works. Yeah. How does this look in motion? Like if I were to select this all, make two, and then three. So two can be moving down... I don't know, 100 minus uh, 500 for now. Three, positive 500. 
That works. Maybe the middle one could be bigger. Maybe just for a little bit of variation. And then I can do like one of those simple rob top backgrounds where it's like some of these objects actually. This chain's got to be a different color. Lucky, what if I just copy and paste this around a lot? Real lazy copy paste. <laughs> this is not object efficient. And I gotta put like ground spikes. What does Rob do for ground spikes? He kind of just does lava now. Is that in black? That's kind of crazy actually. Oh, it's literally one object? <gasps> oh, okay. So I just go like this and then scale it up? Yeah, okay. You get some of the same glow going on. Also, I kind of want to add like a gradient. And I could do that the new way. I couldn't be bothered to figure that out right now. There needs to be some dark in the background, so maybe I can... Some of these go in. Black. Uh, a third opacity. Maybe just scale this up there. Okay, how does this look in the robot part? I might just use the same background. Yeah, I'll keep it for that. I still can't get over the song. It's so funny. Smooth jazz remix of Press Start. Why does this exist? Why is it kind of good? Okay, now I think I just copy and paste this a bunch. And maybe I should get some more chains to connect this stuff. It should be a lot easier in the second half because there's going to be audiovisual stuff to work with. And there'll be stuff to work with instead of having to make gameplay and coming up with all the ideas kind of thing. <clears throat> Those chains, oh, they're all moving. They're all moving the wrong direction. They should not all be moving at all. Does Rob Top even do saws? Maybe it's fine as is. Maybe I just connect the stuff with chains. Oh, I do these, actually. I love these fellas. Maybe I make the pillars move a bit too. Oh, uh, oh, and the sh oh. Structures don't move. Wait, that's dumb. Okay, so we officially hit the hour mark, I just which is a little jumped. frightening. Yeah, there's five minutes left. Oh, there's five minutes left? I thought yeah, I thought we minutes. just hit the hour mark. <gasps> oh, shoot. All right, then I'm going to hustle out these five minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Give me a second. Okay. I'll be back. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I guess I'll just fix this real quick. Oh, that looks funny. That looks funky. Maybe these can attach to saws, actually. Yo. Okay, now the time's up. Incredible timing. All right. <laughs> How much did you manage to get done? Um... I want to say like almost one entire part. I think we got this. I managed to make two full parts, I think. Oh, wow. Minus like a couple effects. Well, they're not like great parts, but they <laughs> they, they, they suffice. That's good at least. Oh, yeah. I'll verify and then we can swap. Sounds good. I guess I can just upload on list. I don't actually have to verify it. I'm oh, listed. You can do that now. Yeah. Way easier. Just uploaded Rob Top if he had SWA, and I'll send you the ID. That should be the final level name. I agree. No way, our levels were two apart in IDs. That's crazy. Okay, which levels? There's one in between ours. Which levels between ours? Auto. Oh, I gotta find it. By the Dirchal. Oh, how how hype? <laughs> I was gonna say it's not auto. <laughs> oh shoot. It is <laughs> auto. Stupid. Oh, it is auto. Yeah, you gotta check it out. Oh shoot, this goes hard. What a banger. <laughs> I got a comment on it. Hi, this is Space UK, the cheater. I'm finally back. Oh, for real? Finally back. <laughs> Welcome back, Space UK, the cheater. My goat. All right, I'm checking this out in the editor right now. Place my whole, a whole start position. Nice. Oh, shoot. What? Oh man, our, <laughs> our parts look so different. Oh my gosh, this is actually terrifying. No way, that's okay, that's okay. We can tie it in. We thankfully, can tie it together. Thankfully, yeah. Thankfully, we're build swapping. That's like the, gonna be the only thing that saves us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're so different. <laughs> we can add our own influence. Yeah. Oh, this is so sick, though. Thank you. No, I love what you did. Like, I see what you're going for, for sure. Thank you. Warmed up now. Hopefully, this will go smoother. Yeah. There's so much of the second half to build left. I'm oh sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. It's fine. Because to be fair, your part was longer, anyways. Yeah. Hopefully, for like, uh, the it's swing fine. part. Hoping for the swing part, you can just kind of like make like two it. structures and just kind of just send it, you know? Exactly. Exactly. I'm going to be on my hustle. You'll be shocked. <laughs> Good luck. Okay, I think I'm ready. Ooh. All right, I am too. Three, two, one. Good. Good luck. Good luck. You got a lot more done than I did. Yeah, I definitely went a bit too complicated with what I was doing. Maybe I can like transition this into like the purple I was using. I didn't realize you would use this kind of style, well, these kind of colors. Maybe I should add some stuff to his part too, if I have time. Okay, okay, okay. And then, I forgot which level I screenshotted, but I'm looking at a screenshot right now. I think it's the second one, the tower, or the cellar. I don't know, anyways. It has a design that's kind of like this. And then this one, I can do this. 
Push invert it. Maybe the, make this even darker, though. No, I, I keep this the way it is, and then make this one darker. I'm not feeling this. Maybe I should just make this black like I did in the other part. What layer is this on? That's so like P1. Oh, absolutely not. Oh, it's because pixel blocks. Yeah, see, pixel blocks layer differently than normal blocks. I don't know why. And maybe I can just add the whatever color channel this is as glow. Why does this not... Does that move down? Oh, it must. I mean, maybe we make the spikes kind of like that, too. And we use... We use these. Okay, that's... That's nice. Maybe I can add some of these blocks from dash, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of these... Why don't we do this on every side? That's bad. No thanks. Maybe just the two. Yeah, that looks good. I can connect these with chains or something. Kind of fire. Did he use any... Any transition effects? I did not just paste. I didn't mean to click that. Why was that there? I can save this. I can save this. <laughs> okay, I just take like this. I copy that. Okay. And then I can go up to that structure there. Okay. No. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm flopping. It also doesn't help that I didn't save for doing that. Save. Okay. <gasps> save. Okay. I can definitely reuse the same particles that he was using. It doesn't look too odd. Maybe if I just put it down a block. Hey, it's been a little more than 15 IG minutes. IG jump scare. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. I was hustling. Nice. Yeah. So how's it going with you? Pretty good, actually. Like you gave me, like your part's given me a lot of good ideas. I feel really bad nice, though, because nice, nice. like I left you so much. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm doing my best. The only like thing that's kind of been tough so far is adjusting to pixel style because I've never done pixel style ever. Yeah. Not to fair. find to find a tile set that looked good but i did and it's it's starting to come together a little bit what i'm building is kind of like transitioning over from your part into my next part yeah I, it's going it's going all right it's gonna start going well for me i think all right good luck good luck i gotta do some crazy camera effect here and then maybe on the pulses too it can be a radial blur pulse almost whoa not that strong yeah it adds nice energy maybe i should put like oh you know be funny one of these in the background like scaled up massively using uh, 90 let's do 90 but then like slanting it maybe not that much but like slanting it a bit fire it cuts off a bit maybe i can scale down a little i think the ground needs to pulse too ground one can just copy color background that pulse so it should look like yep 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 gotta do the funny arrows and maybe just a piece of gold behind it <laughs> can i just scale like <laughs> that looks funny. I'll keep that. And you know what? This guy's gotta be here. I love doing this in levels. This is awesome. This is the best thing I've added to this level. I think it's been 16 minutes again, 15 minutes. It's, it's been a while. Oh shoot. <laughs> Yeah, there's 26 minutes left on the clock. All right, that's not too bad. I don't know. I don't know how confident I am in this right now. It's a little, it's a little out there. It's a little out there. So is mine. Don't worry. All right, that's good. I guess I'm struggling though. I don't know. Just coming up with ideas or what? Yeah, that. Well, it's mostly that, and also I'm just trying to get like the colors to work in a way I want, and it's it's being weird. Oh, I feel you. Yeah, I think I think I'll be able to pull it together though. I'm sure. Okay. You got this. Thank you, thank you. I'm almost done decorating the entire swing part, and then I might just go back and add a little bit of background detail to, like, the beginning of the level, at least. Nice. I'm very excited to see how the level actually turns out, because it's been so hectic, like, building it. I feel like it'll yeah. be a miracle if it ends up looking good. I feel like it'll look all right when it's finished, you know? Yeah, I, I agree with you. Don't be anything. I agree with all right. Setting. Yeah. Yeah, good luck. Ooh, good luck. I'm not sure what else to add here for, like, air deco. I got some more arrows. Maybe I can do some, like, black, like, low opacity black beams in the background. Maybe, see, animated water objects. See, I just default to animated objects because they always just look pretty okay. Yeah, you can't tell me that this doesn't look kind of crazy. It's gotta have some sort of effect there. I don't know what, though. I can make it just brighter there in general, too. Okay, 13 minutes left. What could I add to this real quick? Maybe invisible blocks? He had invisible blocks. Maybe invisible saws. Honestly, invisible saws are the play. And I can just kind of put these wherever there's space. I don't know, that should be okay for now. I should focus on getting a little bit of a background here. Loki, just like a middle ground would look cool, right? Yeah, I just need to add some kind of like saws up here. Yup, there it is. Maybe it's fine how it is. Or maybe I just add like simple clouds. 
just kind of like something very simple and honestly this might just be all right how it is the timer's up ah uh, shoot i'm adding like one last tiny thing and then that's it a little bit terrifying not gonna lie yeah <laughs> extremely stressful definitely it's a bit freaked right. out especially at the end yeah. where it's like i don't even know what to add anymore yeah that's true i only managed to get done i managed to finish the robot and the transition and then the whole swing copter nice and honestly, I think that I think the parts ended up looking pretty decent. Oh, yes. I was hoping you would add clouds because I wanted to add clouds and I forgot. Yeah, it was a really simple thing, but uh, I think it works. Oh, yeah. The entire ball part is just not finished. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't even touch it. I had no time. No, it's okay. Yeah, it's fine. Nice. And then the transition is going to be sick. Merge is going to look goaded. Very excited. And then I don't know what we want to do for the last part. Yeah, I'm not like sure. Like the ball and the ending. Okay, so a bit of time has passed since we recorded that. Audiovisual ended up finishing this part on stream a few days ago. And then a swing copter part, which is just like impossible. I don't understand how to navigate structures like this with swing copter. It's very hard. You can go in there? What the frick? And it looks pretty good. Nice way to end off the level. And I would have had this video out sooner but i had work and then i got like deathly ill but now i'm fine he also changed this part up a little bit made a bit more fair gameplay wise he made this kind of like deadlocked inspired it seems and he made this nice end screen with rob dob on it but yeah overall this level ended up being a lot better than i thought it would be going into it and it was really fun to collaborate with audiovisual on this i feel like our styles meshed well together i feel kind of bad because i made him build like most <laughs> of the parts but yeah this ended up pretty all right yeah thank you so much for watching i have plenty of other videos recorded and planned i just gotta get around to editing and stuff but yeah please subscribe if you want to see more from me soon huge thank you to audiovisual for collaborating with me on this it was very very fun go check him out if you haven't already for some reason but yeah thank you for watching and have a good day